And there we go. Uh, now the power is set. Uh, I hit the button. As you can see, we have a few issues there. One being the power does not reach all the way. All right, we figured this was going to happen, so we'll just put a repeater. Um, as you can see, the they're a bit opposite of each other, so we need to put a repeater on one of them. By the look of it, this one is going faster. Mm, let's see. We gotta invert one of them. Let's invert this one. So let's take off the repeater. We'll probably have to end up putting the repeater back on there anyways. And let's put a torch there. Why is that still being powered? That was weird. Huh. Anyways. And we'll do that. See if that helps. Press it again. Oops, couldn't quite tell. Huh, I'm having a hard time telling. Okay, so what's happening is the first one's going, that's fine. But then this set and this set are going exactly at the same time. What we need is this one to go, then this one, then this one. So what we need to do from this one to this one is we actually need to speed this one up. So let's slow this one down. Alright guys, this is my solution. I uh, just ran this uh, power to one repeater. That'll give it one tick more delay. Let's check it out. I like the way that sounded. And that looks pretty good. Uh, let's cover this up real quick. Turn off my fly. And let's check it out. And it works. Awesome. Alright guys, that's the first one. Um, I'm going to do the second one as well. Uh, I'm going to teach you guys how to make it. But I am not going to go over the uh, the wiring down here because it's exactly the same. I will show you how to change the timing though at the end uh, on the big one so you guys can get a feel of where the timing uh, needs to change because it's not just the repeaters up here. It's the timing down there as well. Alright, cut. I'll clean this up show you and go through the tutorial. Alright guys, uh, here we are again. Um, we want to do the same thing we did with the other one. Uh, the only difference is I'm just mirroring it. Um, I have the uh, pressure plate on this side and the staircase on this side. So then we want to do the same thing we did last time where we did two whoops, two blocks and two blocks. Um, now at this point, uh, because this one's a little bit more complicated, we're going to start with our sticky pistons. This is just going to make it easier in the long run of uh, where we need to put our torches. So, yeah, there's that one. One, two. This one goes one, two. Okay. Alright. And, alright, so that's our start. Um, you can put the staircases on if you need to. I'm just going to do it. Alright. Um, now at this point, we want to we want to get these powered, so what we're going to do, I believe I'm doing this right, this is, um, 
when you have the stationary one, you always want the one adjacent uh, across from it to be just the one powered, not the two. So if we do it this way, just that one will be powered. And then on this side, we want to go opposite, and we want these two to be powered. All right, so at that point you want to go every other every other one. Yep. And then, you know, repeat the process. Repeaters and redstone. All right. Now, so the reason I did that first is so we know where to put our torches uh, for our power. Um, the way this works is this uh, unit is a two by three unit. All right. Um, this side needs to be a solid side. So just take it all the way up. And this is where we're going to put our torches. Whoops. And it needs to go higher. And then uh, the opposite corner also needs to be all the way up. Alright. Um, then we need to... Uh, let's see. How did I do this? Uh, because this torch powers uh, the block uh, vertically, it's going to power a piece of redstone on this side vertically. So we need to put, here, there we go, we need to put blocks every other block in front of it. So right next to the blue blocks. And then we want to be opposite of that block. So we'll place block every other block from that one and we want to do the same thing for the other side so kind of cover those holes and then every other block on this one all right uh, so on this side we have torches so then on the opposite side we also need torches this side is the side we're going to use uh, we're going to have repeaters. It doesn't matter which side you put repeaters on. Oh, just to make sure we got the right side. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's put repeaters on this side. Make it easier on us. The direction of the repeaters is ver are very important. Um, they have to be vertically from the torch. And they have to be facing in the other direction. Because uh, if you put them this way, it ain't going to do jack. So then, as you can see, that's depowered. They're all depowered because they're all powered by a piston, or by a repeater. Then you put uh, redstone on those, no. and those depower the other torch. So the power goes in, in a circle motion. Let's see if I can kind of show you guys what I'm talking about here. Let's say this is our input. vertically we want to put a repeater but the power won't go vertically until you put a torch I mean uh, until you put a block on top then you want to put a block in front of that one and a torch on that side and then you basically you're just rinse and repeat oops uh, so you want to put redstone on this side block on top powers the redstone go up place another block block on top of that block right there repeater it's just and repeats the process over and over that's how it's made all right and uh, on the other side it works exactly the same way um, nothing special about it just make sure that your powers coming out right where the repeater needs to go Fill that in. You 
could place your torches. And that's pretty much it. And I'll just copy this end on this end. I'll be right back. Alright guys, well that's pretty much it for uh, setting up the wiring unit. Um, now as far as uh, adjusting, um, I'll go a little bit more in depth uh, than I did earlier in the video. Can I show you guys uh, how to adjust it for Euro guys? Okay, so uh, let's see how we had it set already. Okay, so we have it set to three ticks. Um, three ticks with uh, a two delay on here. Um, it's uh, super important to get that delay properly. So, and I think, yeah, so if we adjust this down to one these all have to be identical or you will get stuck alright now they're all set to one and you notice I did not adjust the one down there but this is what happens when you adjust the one and not adjust the other one See how the timing is not, it's not accurate. The left and the right one are going at the same time. Uh, so we need to separate that delay a little bit. So we'll set this to one. Gives it one tick difference between them rather than two tick difference. And there we go. Alright guys, I really hope this was a helpful tutorial. Um, the main reason I did this tutorial was pretty much just for uh, this one. Because uh, having a variable timing uh, is important for SMPs. I know there are a lot of SP servers out there who just can't use uh, the zipper style because it's too quick. So, anyways guys, have fun out there and good luck!